Hi, Kyle. It's a good question here about histograms. So let's go right into it. You asked to write this static method histogram that takes an array A of int values and you're returning another int array. So I'm just going to copy this description here and I'm going to bring it into Eclipse here. And you can use any editor you want. Doesn't need to be Eclipse. Some people use IntelliJ, Visual Studio. You know, there are a lot of options out there. So I'm just going to format this so we can see everything. All right, so this is the description you gave us. We want a static method histogram that takes an array A of int values and an integer M as arguments and returns an array of length m whose ith entry is the number of times the integer i appeared in the argument array. Okay, so this part is, is a little bit of the confusing part. So let's just write that out. Um, we're returning an array, so let's just create that array first. And let's call it something like histo array. And we know that the size is going to be M, so we can just initialize it to that. And I'm just going to get rid of this exception. Cool. And we know that's the array we want to return, so I'm just going to put that at the bottom so we don't forget to return this array. Now, this is the part that's a little confusing. The ith entry is the number of times the integer i appeared in the array, in the argument array. So let's say we have that number i. So i is some argument in a, and let's just say it's the first element in a. So the ith entry in our return array is going to be one greater than it was previously because we're almost like keeping account of how many times this number appeared in our a array. So the ith entry is the number of times the integer i appeared in the argument array. So if we encounter i, we're going to go into the ith argument and we're going to increase it by one. But we don't just want to do that with the first number, uh, the first um, number in the a array. We want to do that for the whole a array. So we're going to loop through the whole thing and I'll call our incrementer index. So we're going through the array A. We're doing this every time. There we are. And I wrote a little test case for us up here. A's just got these, it's like 10 values in it. I made M 10. Um, so let's see what happens when we run this. No errors. Let's see what actually gets printed out. So histogram returns this array. So I want to put our print statement here. Now, this isn't going to print nicely because integer arrays don't have a nice two string. Uh, you just see it just prints out the memory address. So we want to do raise.toString. And there we go. This is what we have. So there should be one zero in our original array. One one, two twos. Let me see that that's true. One three, one four, no fives, and, and you can see that there are no fives here, and so on, all the way up to six, seven, eight, nine. And that is it for this problem. So if you have any follow up questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get to them. Thanks, Kyle.